Hey everybody, Jason here again with gd and Basics and the video question line. Today's topic is metric versus inch dimensions and tolerances. Uh, today's question we get quite frequently from our students during our courses, and that is how can I tell if my drawing is in inches or millimeters if it's not listed directly on the drawing or in the title block? Uh, this question often comes up when we have zoomed in views of a drawing where we only see the drawing view and not necessarily the title block and we instantly know that the drawing is in either inches or millimeters. So how is that possible? Well, if we take a look at these two example drawings, we see one on the left and one on the right. It's the same part, just dimensioned and tolerance with different units. So which set of these drawings is metric and which one is inch? Well, I can tell you right out of the gate that the one on the left is inch and the one on the right is metric. And how I know this, is the trailing and leading zeros for both dimensions. For the left inches, the rule is that trailing zeros must be added to the tolerance in the dimensions so that the dimension equals the number of decimal places listed for the tolerance. So for example, we see this one here, our tolerance is 0 0.005, that's three decimal places, and so our dimension also has to have three decimal places. Now, if nominally this dimension was only 0.12, we would have to add a trailing zero in order for the decimal places to match the tolerance. And we see here we have two decimal places in the tolerance, and so we have two decimal places in the dimension. Another unique thing about inches is there's no leading zeros. So you'll see for values that are less than one, we have 0.75, not 0 0.75. So inch drawings will always be missing leading zeros for values less than one, and we'll always have the number of decimal places equal to that of the number of decimal places for the tolerance. Now on the flip side, metric will have no trailing zeros except for non-zero non-symmetric dimensions. What does that mean? That looks like something over here where we have a dimension where we have no trailing zeros because it is a zero tolerance, where over here we have a non-zero non-symmetric tolerance and we have to have a trailing zero to match the other side of the tolerance. So two decimal places here, we add a trailing zero to make sure the non-symmetric, non-zero side of that has the same number of decimal places. Now you'll notice for dimensions here that are less than one, we have to add leading zeros. So we have a tolerance that's 0.25 millimeters, we add a zero to show 0.25. Now this should come with a caveat, that is to say that the designer of the drawing might not have been following the rules and did put zeros in front of their inch dimensions. So we should be careful to not assume the rules were followed. But if the rules were followed, we can know based off the drawing and the leading and trailing zeros that is either inch or metric. Hopefully this helps clarify the inch and metric dimension and tolerance decimal places as well as trailing and leading zeros. As always, thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.